Hey guys, today we're doing a video of a how-to on the Hobby King 900 megahertz FPV system. Uh, this is actually a response to Danny Norman who asked for this video of uh, how to put it back to or how to put it together. So um, here we go. Let's just jump right into it. So what you get when when you buy the product, you get your um, 12 channel receiver. Obviously, I've gone through this all. Your um, uh, TX, your video camera, your wiring, and another set of wires like that, kind of like that. Um, I found it helped me when I did a couple different solder joints for going like on the field. This is the wire that originally comes with it, which I don't use. But um, what I've done is I've taken two XT60 connectors. Let me zoom in here. See, so I've taken these XT60 connectors and just soldered them on to what I need. So, I'll show you what we've done here. This is how to connect it all together. So, what you got to do is you got to get power supply to your receiver. And then you also have to get yourself a video. I got this, or like a TV screen. I got this at Goodwill for like 15 bucks. It was a really good deal. I loved it. And it, it works decently. So, what you gotta do is take your power supply that goes to your um, that goes to your TV. Plug it in. Turn it on. Okay. And then you gotta take your power supply that goes to your receiver and plug it in. And it has to be a 12 volt system. So if you need, you can do an 11.1 volt um, three cell battery. Um, anything from 500 milliamp to all the way up to 3000 milliamp, whatever you need, um, then just plug that in. And, uh, so you're plugged up on that in almost. Then what you gotta do is it depends on how your system is. Um, some TVs will take both ends like this, but this TV is a little bit newer and it has to have the, um, one where they all three go to one so all I had to do was take these the yellow and the white wire plug it up to the yellow and the white uh, video leads they say out and uh, I just found it the best clearest channel was channel 2 and I forget what channel that is over here should be the same in all all these, here, I zoom in here so you can see it even better, are down. Yeah, these are all down. So, none of them, it looks like they're up, but trust me, they are all down. But, so there, we got that. And so what you got to do now is take this and plug it up into your system. Don't push it all the way in if you're using my kind. But just to an extent, and this problem with buying from Goodwill is sometimes you get bad products. And, well, this would be one of them. When I fly, I just don't touch it. So, then I'm going to go in and hit source and go to AVN. Okay? So now it's going to show up fuzzy here. And that's because I don't have anything hooked up over on this end. Um, so now what we're going to have to do is take... I'm going to turn this off real quick just so we don't hear the fuzz take this um, this is the little lead that they supply you with which is really really nice so you don't have to do all the work take the biggest in plug it up to your um, TX and make sure your antenna is screwed in before you do anything before you plug up either this or your um, receiver so take it and just plug it up it should only be able to go in one way yeah and so then it'll plug up. Now this um, uh, this TX does use audio, or does yeah it will, it'll send audio, but the camera itself does not have audio built in it, so you'll be fine without audio. So then you got to take this other little white in here, zoom in here, get it over where we're working. Okay. And so what you got to do now is take this little white in and just plug it in to your camera. And the white in the bottom here 
this is the bottom just take it and plug it in and it just kind of snaps in now this lens that's on it is upgraded it's the 100 and I think 70 degree view lens which is really nice you know it has the glass glass bulb and all that and I've been really pleased with this I've flown a quad with this FPV system a tricopter and I have flown it with a um uh, with a the FT Versa that flight test has made uh, if you've not seen the flight test channel go and look at it it is awesome they have over 357 videos over 118,000 subscribers so go make it 118,000 plus but so they um, made this uh, they build plan planes and then you can download the plans and I made a wing which they provide and uh, I put it on this system, or I put this on the wing, and I flew it for about a minute and a half, and it nose dive from 200 feet straight into the ground because the um, what do you call it? The battery died on my remote control, so it just dove straight into the ground, and it hit a, cr a creek that was no more than a foot and a half wide, and. This camera was submerged under the water for more than two to three minutes. Like, completely s submerged in water. I was just, I thought it wasn't going to work. So I took it home, put it in rice uh, for a day and a half, two days, and it works now. So, what you're going to want to do is we'll go ahead and plug this back up now. Okay, so then you're going to take your battery. This is just a, the smallest three cell I could get. It's a three cell sixty or six hundred and fifty milliamp. So, so it's eleven point one volt. So eleven point one volt does work on this. It doesn't have to be exactly twelve. And what I'm running for my power my power supply over here is uh, its output is nine volts or one point five in one point five amp. And then for my uh, receiver over here, it's a twelve volt one point five amp output. So. I got that all, so we'll just go ahead and plug it up, put this to source, and go to AVN, and there we have it, we have a video. So um, it's really simple, you know, if you, if you have your channels right, then it works great, um, and this, the, quali the signal quality works great when you're in an open field especially. I, I guarantee you could go well over a half mile. Um, there's my MX-2, my F-22, <laughs> all my good planes up there. But so, uh, it works really nice, uh, really clear image quality. And if you need to focus it, because it's not, if, if it's focused too shallow, all you got to do is loosen this little screw here. Let's zoom in for you guys here. Is just uh, loosen it and then tighten it in or pull it out which that will change your focus and if your lens doesn't go in and it, you just get a super fuzzy picture when I first got this it was because I just had to twist it a little bit further and it worked perfectly so uh, there it is that's the how-to video uh, to put the Hobby King 900 megahertz system together um, thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to comment rate and subscribe we'll see you guys later bye